On behalf of INSE student chapter of Anna University, I would like to welcome our alumni, Ms. Sujita S. to alumni talks. Can we start the questions, ma'am? Yes, sure. And thank you so much for this uh, opportunity, first of all. Um, we are very honored uh, to be a part of this uh, journey and share our experiences all together to our future uh, uh, people uh, and uh, emerging engineers. You can, you can uh, start the quiz. You have been with Saint Gobind for over three years. Now, could you share how your journey began and how it has evolved over time? Yes, uh, my uh, journey with uh, Saint Gobind began uh, right after uh, my college. So I joined as a management trainee here. Uh, so alongside, I was fascinated about uh, engineering on overall. Uh, this uh, large scale projects came uh, together to create something uh, tangible like a glass manufacturing industry and uh, my uh, curiosity to learn about uh, why and how uh, the engineering goes and alongside how this happens has uh, helped me uh, dive deeper into this uh, uh, procurement field. So today I uh, work in a project uh, procurement while uh, I understand the technical uh, strategies and uh, uh, think to uh, give a better solutions uh, for the project procurement. Um, so it's been a very fulfilling journey so far with continuous growth and uh, uh, heartwarming uh, upcoming projects. That's really interesting, ma'am. Can we go to next question? Sure. Starting as a management trainee and moving into CAPAX procurement sounds like with a shift. How did the transition happen? So uh, the shift was uh, actually very organic. Uh, during my uh, trainee phase, I got opportunities to interact with uh, multiple functions from productions to projects. And I realized uh, that procurement sits right at the intersection of all of them. So it is the one which bridges the gap between the technical requirements and uh, the suppliers uh, uh, with coordinating with all of the cross-functional uh, environments. So uh, this, when this opportunity came up as uh, wherein uh, uh, people got me to ask uh, to fit in the CapEx procurement, I just grabbed it and uh, which where I can apply my technical base as well as my uh, soft skills such as uh, communication and uh, engaging with the suppliers and uh, coordinating with the cross-functional environment as well. That's a great journey of transition, ma'am. For many of us who, not, who might not be familiar, could you explain what exactly CAPEX procurement involves? Um, so, uh, CAPEX procurement is about uh, sourcing and managing all the materials, equipments and services needed to build uh, or upgrade a manufacturing facility. Uh, for instance, in our Float 7 project, which is a new one, uh, ongoing uh, one at Borogadam, so it is a complete game field project. Uh, so it means working closely with engineers to identify the right equipment, uh, evaluating the suppliers, ensuring time deliveries and and, uh, managing costs so all while maintaining quality and as well as safety standards so it is cruel um, uh, sorry it is a, um, a critical uh, function so that ensures the projects that are executed seamlessly from the idea to the commissioning part so this is overall the capex procurement involves Thanks for explaining that so clearly. What is a project or a moment at Saint Gobain that you are particularly proud of? So definitely our ongoing uh, Floatsman project. So it is one of the most exciting phases uh, where we all been awaiting for a new greenfield project that brings together so many streams of engineering. So being part of the core team, I get to explore everything from uh, refractory materials and structural steels to advanced automation systems. Uh, so what makes me proud is uh, seeing how this each procurement decision directly uh, contributes to the plan's success as well as it's a great feeling to be a part of something that uh, uh, literally takes a uh, shape in front of your eyes so you procure a product and it, it, you see it growing the field so you see it uh, installing in the field and uh, the production makes it possible so it's a great feeling that that's what makes uh, every procurement people proud i guess that sounds like a wonderful experience 
working in procurement must require strong problem solving skills how do you usually approach complex issues or tight deadlines um so i approach uh, challenges so you can break them into a, a systematic uh, sequences first uh, you should understand the technical uh, requirement and then their constraints and finally you should able to identify what's negotiable and what's not so i've uh, also learned that uh, communication is the key so keeping all stakeholders uh, the suppliers engineers and the project teams so aligning early helps avoid last minute surprises so that is what uh, i think um, i i can uh, tackle more the more of a challenges or uh, tight deadlines will be managed based on that so i believe every challenge has a solution so if we combine logic collaboration and a little creativity as long that's a smart way to handle challenges Ma'am, how do you think creativity and innovation qualities fit into technical role like procurement? Um, so, creativity is at the heart of problem solving. So, in procurement, innovation often means finding smarter alternatives. As you rightly said, uh, a new vendor, uh, a better material, or a more efficient process. Uh, so, for instance, during float seven. Uh, we explored unconventional sourcing options for certain critical materials, which helped uh, optimize both uh, the lead time as well as the cost. So yes, uh, even though procurement is a structured function, uh, creativity is what makes it uh, dynamic and uh, it makes it future ready. Nice point. Creativity really makes a difference. procurement often involves dealing with multiple stakeholders how do you manage communication and coordination across teams so um, as i said earlier i believe in proactive communication so i make sure everyone from project engineers to suppliers is on the same page regarding the timelines expectations as well as the changes so regular updates and transparency uh, will help uh, in a in a long way will help building trust so i have also learned to tailor my communication depending upon the audience the technical details for engineers or the timelines and cost for management and clarity for suppliers it's about being the uh, bridge that keeps everyone connected that's very practical approach ma'am sustainability is becoming a major focus everywhere does it influence can decision at sangobin absolutely so because at sangobin uh, sustainability is not just uh, like a bus word it's it's a core value uh, in procurement we evaluate suppliers based on not just uh, cost or quantity but also their environmental practices so wherever possible we look for the some energy efficient uh, um, solutions uh, recyclable materials you know we proactively uh, procure for the collects so we have a separate department uh, for that so uh, day by day month on month and year on year we are increasing the uh, tonnages of the collects by uh, actively encouraging the suppliers uh, to give it back uh, the waste the broken glasses to uh, back to the uh, glass manufacturing unit as well as uh, we also evaluate suppliers uh, based on uh, their ordering value credit value so for example let's say if they are uh, taking up a value for about 1 crore we will be asking them to undergo some uh, audits so which will be involving there are two types of audits which we are currently ongoing one is online and one is uh, in in hands so the people will be going and inspecting the uh, industry of the suppliers industry uh, so uh, based on which they will be evaluating in every aspects uh, uh, from the employee wellness as well as the environmental factors such as sustainability so uh, while we will be making sure that uh, the suppliers is also aligned with us in the sustainability part